Hello everyone and welcome to episode 17 of building my dream park in the theme park to come to. So we are finally going to start on the station of the coaster. I've been putting this away for a long time because I'm still not really sure what I want to do with it. But I just need to do it. So yeah, we, we are probably going to do this whole section up here. Uh, probably not this, but um, yeah, I definitely want to finish the station this episode. So for that, we need some primitives. And I'm going to start with making a base, I guess. And I want to make it same style as this. So wooden walls and then this roof. I don't know how to call it. And I actually want to make this sort of realistic so i am going to move this a little bit in just like that and the same on the other side and let's give this i, I think we, we're going to give the the base of the, the station we're going to give it the stone um concrete ish vibe and then the walls are going to be wooden so maybe this brick no i, I don't like this brick maybe cobblestone yeah i guess i guess cobblestone can work i have never really used cobblestone but yeah that actually looks not too bad okay where are we going to do the entrance where are we going to do the exit and how are people actually going to get up here so my initial plan was to make a yeah how do you say it a, a road going up here uh, i still want to do that i have no idea where so uh but for now i think guests will just come from here i will probably race this and make the path here probably somewhere here let's actually delete all these ports because we don't need them i think i'm just going to start off with the station building so the exit is going to be around here and how cool would it be if actually it will go under here i have no idea if this is possible does it actually fit okay let's see if if you walk under here are you actually going to hit that Oh, nah, no, no. Yeah, that, that works. You, you can just give them a half five. I, I do not see the problem there. So we're going to need some poles. Probably this one. Yeah, this one works fine. And we're going to give this one the wooden texture. And I'm probably going to extend this a little up. I have no idea if I actually... No, I, I have an idea. I have an idea. So the, the queue is going to be probably around here. Uh, in this section here. And then something there. Yeah. Like a great, great time. Yeah, this this is a really good plan. I'm probably going to make the exit around here. So I actually need like a slope here. Okay, let's see if you're actually going to hit your head if you're walking here. No, no, that 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 seems that seems fine. Now that we have this amazing looking fence, we can actually start. I actually think I am going to make this the queue path because we don't have a lot of room here for the queue. So the queue is just coming from the back and you're going under here. That's super realistic. Yes. Nice. So I actually need to make the, the queue things or the... Uh, how, do you, how do you call those? Think the things where you wait? I have, I have no idea. I don't know why, but these things actually don't match up anymore with the poles that i want to do i think it's because they are these are the remodeled trains that are actually a little bit bigger uh, than the older ones oh like <laughs> this this is how they line up this is just <laughs> well then we're just going to do it on this way i'm just going to add an extra pole in between the trades just this yeah i guess it works i guess it works now we need to extend all these poles again okay now that the fences are done we actually need to make that you not can walk through these smaller ones okay now that the fences are fully done we actually need some walls in this building because it is just really open right now so let's move the walls around the middle of the pole and this is going to be like the way through to the exit so we need to leave that open and we can actually move this down yeah we can actually move this down and give it still the this paint and then we're going to give this the wooden and i actually might make the balls a little bit of a darker color around the building so you can so you can see them a little bit better and they really highlight the balls okay so we want to do the same for this side just like that and now for all the outer walls and where the train actually goes through we actually need to leave there a little bit more space than there actually is so we're probably going to use these smaller primitives just like that so i am a little bit stuck with what i want to do for the inside and especially the roof i i just 
don't know anymore. This is how far I came. Uh, luckily, Bill actually joined. And I asked him if he could help me. And he can. So yeah, great. I have no idea what we're going to do. But he is going to help me. Okay, so Bill's going to the roof. I am actually going to do this. Because this is now really ugly. So let's get this mesh roof. Because I think this is probably the best one to add here. I think I'm just going to make these flat and these of course need to be in an angle i am currently finishing the last few details uh, bill was making the roof and then we're going to do uh, some other small things uh, but let's do that in the form of a time lapse
Alright, as you can see, um, we have done quite a lot. Uh, I have made the supports for this small area here. Um, of course, this part here still needs support and the same for this. But for the rest, that's almost the last part that needs to be have or that's the last part that needs supports, but that will do later. Uh, the station building, I'm, yeah, I'm happy with it. Of course, it's, it's not extremely special. It's just, it's just a station building. Massive thank you to Will. If you haven't subscribed to him, uh, I think you can click there or there. I, I don't know. I think it's there. Uh, he makes awesome content, so subscribe to him if you haven't. And... Yeah, he, he has done something inside. I might add some more shelves and stuff here, but I really like the chandeliers that he made and just the nature here. So I am really happy with it, but that's all the time I've got for today. If you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like and subscribe on my channel. And I will say, as always, goodbye.